Hello everyone, I am Mark Gamowicz and today I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing a product review. Uh, hashtag sponsored question mark? Uh, so I was approached by uh, Parblo, which is a tablet company, and um, normally I don't do hey review our product and we give you the product for free type of deal. Uh, but I was kind of interested because I've never heard of Parblo before and I know that a lot of people often ask me what I recommend for tablets and usually I say Wacom because that's what I use or Wacom. I'm gonna say Wacom. Actually I might switch between the two, but <laughs> I digress. Um, so when they contacted me, um, <laughs> it was a very generic message of, hey, you really enjoy animation and art? So we want to invite you to review our product, and I was like, "You, you paying me money?" Or and they're like, "No, no, no. We're just going to give you the product for free." And I'm like, "Okay, but if that's the case, I'm going to give you an honest review." And they're like, "Yep, that's what we want." And I'm like, "Okay." Um, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, I'm going to give you an honest review of this product that they sent me because honestly, since I'm not being paid to and endorse this product, there's no real incentive for me to be overly nice or um, flattering, you know? Because honestly, like, okay, so full disclosure again, I currently use the Cintiq Pro Touch 24. I use this beast of a, uh, of a tablet. Um, it's pretty much the top of the line at the at the moment. I told them, being that I've only used Wacom products in my life, um, I, the only thing I can really compare is my experience with Wacom products. And so, yeah. Anyways, uh, so I go to the post office and I receive a package and I open it up. And it's kind of got a nice box. It's very artsy fartsy kind of box. It looks like it's trying to be Picasso-esque. At least there's a little car there that feels Picasso-esque. Which Pablo makes me want to say Pablo. So, um, yep, if I accidentally say that, my be. Uh, but inside there was um, a little car that told you how to like set up your, your tablet. Uh, one of the things that also interests me in this tablet is that you could hook it to your phone to use, which was kind of interesting, and I'll tell you the story of me hooking it to my phone. I don't have any recordings of it because I don't have screen capture for my cell phone, and being that I use my cell phone to take pictures and video because I don't have a video camera, <laughs> I wasn't able to actually record or take pictures of any of it. But I digress. Um, the back of the the case uh the box is just full of like you know what it comes with in multiple languages uh this is chinese made um their tablets are fairly cheap this particular one is the intangible which i think retails about 75 to 80 dollars uh it has shortcut buttons along the side and it has a pen that has it doesn't need batteries or it doesn't need charging which is one thing that i really appreciate because i once got a tablet that did require charging it was like a surface pro 4 and i needed to recharge the pen and i hated it so when you kind of open the box it's full of like a bunch of uh i'm gonna say goodies but honestly there's stuff that nobody really asks for <laughs> there's like uh some stickers and um a bookmark because when i think drawing uh, on a tablet, I think, bookmarks. But it has, like, installation guides and warranties. And there was an artist glove. Um, I tried wearing it for a little while. It's all right. Uh, it does have this nice little pen stand, and you can unscrew the top, and it has other nibs inside, so you can change uh, out the tip, which I really appreciate. My, my tablet, my Wacom tablet, has the same kind of thing, where it has a base that has uh, the nibs hiding inside, which is very clever, very good. I like that. Um, the angle of the pen stand was a little awkward, but regardless, uh, the tablet itself was, um, it's not too heavy. So I used to own a Surface Pro, which is a Microsoft product, and, um, Mobile Studio, the Wacom Mobile Studio 13. 
And the Mobile Studio 13 is a weighty motherfucker. And uh, this is nothing compared to that. The difference is, is the Mobile Studio was a full PC and this is just a tablet. But that being said, comparing the weights is really not that big of a deal. If I compared it to my Bamboo, I would say the Bamboo is lighter, but it is a little smaller. Um, but even for the size, like, it doesn't feel overly flimsy. It doesn't feel like the strongest material, this uh, Parblo tablet. But it's fine. I probably wouldn't feel safe shoving it just in a regular backpack. I'd want it, like, in a protective sleeve. Uh, and this one's supposed to be able to hook up to your cell phone, but it's an awfully large tablet to carry with you if you're going to go out and about, maybe to like a cafe or something. I would definitely get a smaller size if I was going to do something like that. But honestly, <laughs> all right, so let me tell you about me using it with my cell phone real quick, just so I can get this like out of the way. So I did plug it into my cell phone and it did work right away and um which was great. I used the Android. I have a Samsung Galaxy S7. I don't know. Man, I need a I need a new phone. It's old. But I digress. I downloaded Ibis and tried it out and oh my god. No. <laughs> I like that you have um the pen sensitivity on the phone, like on the tablet for the phone. But honestly, it's so awkward to use because, well, at least with Ibis, it doesn't really give you a cursor because it's expecting you to use your fingers. In fact, I think most of them don't. Maybe if I had a, a Android tablet of some sort, uh, but I didn't. Um, and for the art program that I grabbed, which was the top recommended off of the Play Store, uh, it was, mm, no, nah, it came out like some goddamn monstrosity. I, no, nah, nah, man, it's too embarrassing to even use. When I initially got this uh, tablet and plugged it in, it wasn't a play right out of the box. I needed to kind of get the drivers and settings and download it. So I did, and I had to adjust the uh, the pressure sensitivity. I had, to, I had to mess with that a lot because I had a lot of issues with that. Um, and you can uh, set up which area your uh, tablet is going to draw to. You can have do all of your monitors, but I have three monitors at the moment. Uh, so I selected just the main one, the main display. Um, I had tried drawing earlier using this program and I got the weirdest line pressure widths things I don't know when I tried to use the pressure on it it just went from zero to naught and that was with some adjusting and then I got frustrated and I uninstalled it and like yeeted it into a corner for a little while and then I was like all right let me try it again today so I did and I played with the settings a bit more until I got it to a place where it felt more comfortable for me uh, and then I decided to ink a picture. I had done the sketch already, um, and it took me about, I want to say 11 and a half minutes to just ink this in. Uh, keep in mind, I inked it like I would most comic work, which is very little erasing and undoing. I try to get it done kind of like, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> um, because I don't want to waste too much time going back and forth. Uh, with the stuff but again it was just supposed to be a quick trial and I did practice using it before I did this I still had some issues with the uh, sensitivity I had some issues like trying to find where my pen was on screen like even with the with the reticle uh, I still had trouble finding it um, and I'm so used to being able to turn my page with touch like finger touch sensitivity that I wasn't able to do that here I'd have to go into the program to readjust which probably would have made lines a little cleaner but it would have taken the uh, overall art process maybe twice as long um, and for comparison I did do one where I used my Wacom that I'm used to um, and when you look at them side by side, you can definitely see the difference of of such. And I did very little erasing on either of them. I think I did an undo once on each of them. There was a little erasing on, on both of them. 
but for the most part, not really. And you can also see like where the line thickness just kind of gets a little bit too intense in some places with the uh, par blow. If I was going to give this, like, uh, for this is kind of a review, I'm kind of comparing it to Wacom, which might seem unfair, but again, it's what I know and it's what I usually recommend. Overall, will I use this tablet again? The answer is no. Um, for a beginner tablet, it's fine. It's fine. Um, it's... My bamboo, which is very similar, would also do the same thing. I didn't use any of the shortcut buttons because I just don't use those. I don't use them on my current uh, Wacom tablet. I don't never use them in the past. I don't like them. Uh, I, for the most part, only really use the undo and I just do control Z. Or I just hit the little button <laughs> on the program itself. Um, to give you an idea, like, what... I've drawn on the past with a non-display tablet. I will post some examples here. And this was done using the bamboo I used to have, which uh, I don't think had as much of pressure sensitivity. It's been a long time since I've used that bamboo. I would say it's an all right tablet. I would still recommend a Wacom over it, uh, especially for the price. Like if you're gonna spend $70, I would recommend getting a Wacom it's not a bad product and also you can plug it into your phone and if that's something that you're into then by all means i would definitely recommend it it's not for me it's not a tablet for me if you get one of the cheaper ones and you use it like and you need it on your phone or something or if you have a small android tablet then yeah i would probably be all right either way that's my review of this product if i was to give it a rating on a one to ten 10 being the bestest, 10 being my Cintiq. <laughs> I would give it a three and a half. I would give it a 3.65. 3.65, that's what you get. That's what you get, par blow. I would give my bamboo like a four and a half. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. And if you were interested in me reviewing products, I mean, might be something I wouldn't mind trying in the future again. I don't know. It's a little awkward doing this one. I don't want to do tablets anymore because it was just a bitch to uninstall Wacom to install the new ones so then uninstall those to reinstall the Wacom. Ah, it's too much work. <laughs> um, either way, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget you check me over on uh, Twitch and become a member in order to get like stuff and vote on stuff.